Hello folks, and well, welcome to yet another episode of me showing off the Celatron. Although, as you can see, in a slightly different shroud this time. It's a little bit harder to use because I have to go for what the levers mean by memory. And uh, hopefully it will be um, an easy affair, but you never know. In this case, I'm just going to show you a quick division with the uh, machine in uh, the uh, well, with the machine out of its shroud. So I push the keys, and you can see these things uh, unlatch, and a little gear is moved here that then engages with another set of gears that has one through nine teeth. And this is how it knows how many times to rotate these things when adding. Division has a bit of an interesting property when done in the simple mode, because what it will do is that it will take the values input in this half of the keyboard, and it will add this to the uh, total up here. Then it's going to shift the carriage all the way here, and start subtracting this amount, subtracting or adding, I might say. So, without further ado, shall we begin? So, let's start. Boom. And it detects when it's finished, because the last overflow being done here is uh, going to do uh, well it's going to trigger the uh, release switch for the division so then we clear we'll see that these uh, wheels rotate because there's a little arm behind each of them that push up you might be able to see it not as visible here because it's behind this plate and I'm usually hesitant to remove parts of the carriage, even though I think this plate here with the um, what would you what's it called again? I'm sorry, words escaping at the moment. The uh, complement bar. There we go. The complement bar uh, is just. I think this is sort of a presentation layer thing, but. There is always a risk that when you take these out, you'll get a bunch of little springs and little balls that normally interface with these gears in order to make sure that they land precisely on a digit so you don't get like some something standing between the position 1 and 2, etc. Um, in this case, it might not be as much of a risk though, because as you can see these things here, I think they are those springs because behind each of these there is a small gear that these ones slot into and i think that is the uh, mechanism through which the thing does uh, exact stuff but awful lot of talking very little uh, calculating so let's uh, let's try the let's try the seconds in a year thing again just to demonstrate a lot of multiplication going down at the same time. So, 60 times 60 is 3600, although I've shifted the decimals a little bit. There we go. And in in the number of, number of minutes in a day, So, 3, 6, 5 for the number of days in a year. And presto, all done. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been a bit interesting to see the machine working in its open position. I can try doing the... Whoops. I can try doing the large number multiplication with the machine open might be interesting who knows so let's see
there. D. No. I did that wrong. C. Third. 1930. And I switch this down. The machine is waiting. So. No. 2971 delete. And boom, done. Also the standard income tax formula. So move these ones a bit to the side. So 9259 in tax. And for these ones, I move them a bit to the right. So we have Let's see if we can group the numbers. 22,670 and 30 remainder. Very good. On that note, I think it's time to end this particular episode. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this machine without the shroud on. And once again, thank you for watching. Do take care.